Yes, much, much magazine. Our cover girl. Our cover girl is the Spain because it's Paula. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Editor's corner. It was Women's Day. So now we, uh, the editor there wrote about women. The women, because that magazine came out soon after AKA was shot. So AKA was shot in, in Japan on February the 10th. So he then writes there about the women in his life. Lynn Forbes, the mother, she must have been crushed, right? Mm-hmm. Zinke, the mother of his one and only daughter, Cairo, she must have been crushed as well. All of them, I guess. Yeah, that was what it was about. They're not friends of AKA. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after I follow, I like DJ Zinke and Bonan. So that's how I got to know AK when he was dating Bonan. So then, when he was, then I saw that Bonan had actually taken him away from. Zinchai, but uh, Zinchai had a baby with him, and then he was now also dating our girl Nadia, so that's how I was following him. So when he died, I was really crushed. It was really sad. Oh, sure. Really sad because it was short and cold blood. Oh, sure. Then uh, our cover girl, yeah. we see her. Yeah, yeah, that's our cover girl. Yeah. So who's your cover? Then I think we we'll have a story about um, about her after the spirit corner. Okay. Understanding meditation part two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> over to you, yes, yes, yes. Yes, over. Because the, the, what, what I see here is the uh, temple, the sanctuary, the sanctuary yeah. on which used to be set. Yes. So I think it interlinks with, with where she's going. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So the the tabernacle. Yes. Because I know when that you have you studied the tabernacle. I I believe both of us have studied. Okay, so so if you if you then have um, studied it, what is the order of the tabernacle? So there's the outer court. In the outer court, yes. There's the um, there's the what you call the holy place. Yes. And the most holy of holies. And the most holy. Where, where you find the necessity. Where you find the necessity. Yes, it's the ark of the covenant. The commandments inside the ark of the covenant. Yes. Uh, Benny Hinn writes about the road map to the presence of God, and then he uses the tabernacle. So he says that in the outer court, it's like he, he says this is how he prays. So he says he prays first, when he's praying, he feels he's in the outer court. Where he says in the outer court, it's very noisy. It's very noisy. It is full of uh, distractions and disturbances. And you now say it's full of demons because you're praying, uh, you're praying for this. Oh Lord, I need a new. What, 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 then, oh, did you switch off the iron? Then you stand up and then you go and check with the iron. Then you can continue. Then you continue. So that is the outer court. It is very noisy. And the court really is not there in the outer court, according to Ben Because it's just full of demons. But you now need to to to, to get to a point where he ama distractions down and they come in the form of thoughts. Where then those thoughts are are silent when allow look who comes about your life of the flesh because the iron is the life of the flesh and that oh, I I haven't paid my bill. Is that the land on outside routine? You are still hearing those things, you are in the outer court. He says, but the longer you pray, the closer you get. Then he says when you now move out of the outer court, the the, the, the armor noises of the demons are now quieter. And then you move into the holy place. Here there is an invisible line between the realm of the flesh and the soul where you strike reality. Your words become few and then you just begin to praise the Lord. That's what he says. In this realm, it is no longer you are no longer tired. You are now you are now not aware of time anymore. You you begin to forget about the problems, your real life problems. You begin to cry. So this is a place of cleansing. You are washed by the blood. Uh, you forget all of your sins. You forget really your, 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 your life of the flesh. So the longer you stay there praising him, being cleansed, the closer you get to the holiest of holies. So the aim is to get to the holiest of holies in the mercy seat. So then when you get to the, before the mercy seat, that's when now the Holy Spirit is there now. After the Holy Spirit is now with you, he's now telling you what to pray. He leads you to Jesus. Jesus leads you then to the mercy seat. In the mercy seat, that's when you can you, you are then praying and then you feel the presence of the Lord, of God, oh, the Father. That is the divine If if you are in the most holy place, yeah, he says his goal is to get link with the higher power. 
to God, yes. to God the Father now. Because the road, according to him, the road is, you are with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, they're helping you to get to God the Father. And then when you get there, you are in his presence. He will then, he will then speak to you. That is only his road map. Oh, that's his personal road map. Yeah, that's his, his road map to prayer. Okay. Yes, you know. Yeah. Okay. So maybe before you comment, I can then go to work because uh, yeah, that's what that is. That is what he says. That is, and then the scientists now, because that the the, the the scientists say, who who George Spencer is a neuroscientist. He's the one I was talking to us about that he had an accident, and then he was told you never walk again. All his bones were broken, and then he was then he then. He managed to heal himself with his mind. Yes. Then after he then woke up after a few months, he then started teaching other people who were also terminally ill how to meditate their way to wellness. That is Benny. That is George Dispenza's thing. So you know he says, because George Dispenza is a scientist, he says you meditate. You close your eyes, you meditate. So it says when you are starting, there are so many distractions. So many voices are coming, telling you, telling you, you haven't switched on the iron. Get up and check if you switch on that. Oh, there's a water at the gate. Oh, have I paid my cancer bill? Oh, is my phone ringing? Did I, let me put it on silent. You are, you are, you are still in, you are still in power. You are who stands there, you are too conscious. Then it says, but you, you just keep quiet, then the thoughts will go. And then you then move to the next stage when you are no longer really, you are no longer thinking about your present reality. You are just quiet. You are not hearing those. Your thoughts are now not with you anymore. You feel yourself moving to a higher level of the mind. He says the goal is to move from the conscious mind and go to the subconscious mind. And then your subconscious mind is, is your heart, your heart part. And your subconscious mind is the one that is connected to who? You know, he doesn't mm-hmm. say to God. He says it's connected to the divine. So once you are now in that higher level of your mind, you are no longer conscious of your physical world. That's why I want to say that you are a little bit of a when he's now at a, a that level. Because the flesh and his whatever spirit are no longer connected. Yes. So that's what George Dispenza says. And then he says at that point when you, your thoughts, we are my thoughts, you then begin to feel love around you. And then when you feel love around you, that's when you meet up with the divine. And then he speaks to you and tells you about his plans for the world at large, and then when how you fit into those plans. And then when you come out of that state, you are now no longer concerned. Although you are you your sickness now you see its smallness because you've seen the bigness of the divine. Over. So versus Benny, if Benny him and I gets to it through prayer, he then says he then God the Father then tells you his plan for the world and how well you fit in. Over. Um, I think <laughs> I understand why he says divine. What? I think it goes back to the three goals. Oh yeah, so he doesn't want to specify yeah, what kind of divine is to, to specify mm-hmm. where you are going, to, which side are you going to be connected? To. Because to be, to be honest, I, I really believe if you go the, the other way. Child. Yeah, but still to be the divine. Yeah. No. Because no, it's, it's, still, it's, it's still a power. Because you say, what, what is no, I'm still confused about this meditation thing, so I think I'll just have to go and do a research. No, research some more. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that is that is it about uh, meditation. It's actually it's going to continue in the coming articles. Oh. So we'll learn more about it. But. It is, uh, the scientists will say it's all about your mind. And then the Christians will say it is about you getting closer to to this, to this being more spirit than flesh. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on, because the you don't have comments on that one. And then the, the, the cover girl. The cover girl. Yes. Yeah. We're officially opening this studio when we wrote that article. So you see the cover girl is sitting yes. on that chair. Right, yeah. He's sitting on that chair. Yes. So, yeah. I just want you to cover for you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I'm um, interviewing sitting on this chair. Just that should be covered. Yeah. 
She told the audience that she starts her day at 4.30 a.m. every day. Uh, she drinks uh, water, warm water. She prays, meditates. And then I think she has time for exercise because she's really big on being fit. Uh, and then she usually has a breakfast of oatmeal and she goes to work. Uh, we're told that she starts work from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, so she really has a good work ethic. And the other thing I think that we can say about her is that she she doesn't have one stream of income. She has the Alvaro business and she also breeds dogs. Uh, and she also teaches uh, young kids uh, skills skills for life. And, and then and then there's this other thing. I think I think um, over the years I've watched it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From a small small brand. Mm. Into something big, yeah. Mm. I, th I think I, it's, when, when I'm talking about it, mm. it's, it's growth that I've seen happen. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, I'll say uh, it makes me believe more in, in, in the in compound interest because whatever the effort you put, mm. I think with time it, it grows. Mm. You really see the results. You see the results. So I believe when she started. Um, no one could see a vision and a direction of mm -hmm. where she's going. Mm -hmm. she's going. But right now, even if you go to a shop, mm -hmm. you'll understand. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, she's there. And she's she's going to be bigger in the future. <laughs> she's a vegetarian. You saw her meal there. There's a picture of her meal there. Delivery and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. If, if you put effort oh, okay. and, and put in the work, mm -hmm. it works up. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you put God first and, mm -hmm. and everything flows and grows. And yeah, she's very prayerful as well. And the exponential growth, mm -hmm. everything explodes and it's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I like her. I like her because now my success talk, uh, in practice, in interviewing people, I used to practice on her because she was the only um, person who would agree to be a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> record and post on YouTube and zero views. <laughs> yeah, so the next article now is like hey, the women's day later by Sibo Shadowman. So I think uh, this one. Yeah. Okay, so the letter from Sibo Shadowman to the women. Uh, Sibo was highlighting that uh, women need to know and understand that uh, they are enough, that they don't really need to maybe enhance or get validation from other people to know that they're enough, uh, that you are beautiful because whatever you look like, but you are made in the image of God, the creator, and yeah, you are able to achieve anything if you put your mind in it. So there, there are no limits on what you can achieve, as we've seen from our cover so As long as you put your mind in it, you'll be able to achieve it. Yes, I think. Yeah, I guess also the next one is also you again because it's a book summary. Mm. Okay, yes, yeah. so in the book we're looking at uh, the millionaire booklet by Grant Cardone uh, where he outlines the six, six or seven steps uh, that you can use to become a millionaire. First it says you have to decide that you really want to be a millionaire and then you do the millionaire math. So you calculate or you come up with many ways of how you can collect a million dollars. So once you realize that it's possible, then you can work towards achieving it. Because if in your mind you don't really believe that it's possible, whatever you do, you won't achieve that million dollar goal. Uh, and then what emphasizes is who's got my money. So you have to spend time with people who can pay for your services. So I think that what, if you focus on that, you, at the end of the day, have your money and then you stay broke. Don't um, don't improve your life uh, to meet the income that you are having. So it doesn't mean you stay poor. You just maintain a, a good enough lifestyle. Yes. So that you can reinvest your other income and earn more money. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, Tando, your comment on the book, on the book review. 
I mean, I'm just going to talk about Ukraine and Peter's Okay. Yeah, one of the peop few people um, mm. in Abadan, now, who I follow mm -hmm. when I started my journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of the enlightenment. Journey <laughs> <Did you laughs> of enlightenment? Mm. Yes, because we continuously yeah. grow and we continuously learn. Mm -hmm. And we, we continuously change our views mm -hmm. uh, because we, we get exposed to new experiences and new things. So, yeah, Uncle Grant is a wealthy guy. Okay, so what do you know about Grant? What is like? He's, he's, he's a cool guy. He's a family man. Okay. He has a twin brother. Okay. Yeah, he had a troubled childhood. Mm -hmm. Like, like, troubled, oh, troubled, no. troubled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very troubled young. He was a troubled young man. Yeah. But he decided to change his ways. Mm -hmm. He decided that, you know what, I'm, I'm done with this mm -hmm. life. I'm done with the poverty. Mm -hmm. I'm done with scrapping. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find yeah, him. He's also in the police state. He's big in real estate, yeah, he's mm. got his own private jet, mm. he drives a Rolls Royce, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And his, his spirituality. His, his spirituality, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Mm. I, I only look at the business side of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure, yeah, but I know, I know he's, yeah, got, yeah. he's got two or three daughters yeah, yeah. that he loves very much. Yeah. Mm. And he's a family man, he's big on family. Mm. Man. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I know about you. But the book is very good book. We'll move to the house corner. Simply healthy living the change by Kukletis Wanda. Uh, our healthy corner article I was talking about smiling and laughing. Uchi, when you smile, you feel good, and you smile to the next person, and the next person feels good mm -hmm. too. So oh, it's true. addictive and it's transferable. <laughs> so when you smile, you make the next person feel good. And in, even in the Bible, it says in Proverbs 17, verse 22, a joyful heart is uh, is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. Uchi, when you you smile. Like your health wise, you feel good, you don't edge like quickly. Like when you just when you salus on delay, your 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 face get wrinkled like <laughs> yeah, then when you smile you lighten up and everything goes well with your health. Then you have Ama Ellen G. White gave us Ama eight laws of e health, which he nutrition. Nutrition you um uh, I'll be talking about uh, eating well, the balanced diet, vegetables and everything. Then exercise, uh, talking about jogging, waking up in the morning, exercising your body, and uh, water. Water is important in, in our bodies. Well, almost uh, the blood is made up of water. So we have to drink a lot of water to increase our blood flow in the system. And uh, sunshine, we need vitamin D in our bodies. So that's what I can say about sunshine, temperance. <laughs> what is temperance, Tando? Tando, temperance. <laughs> temperance is uh, <laughs> moderation in what is good and avoid in what is bad. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> Fresh air. Fresh air is that's the air we breathe, the air we take in. So we have to breathe in the fresh air so that maybe if you can go in the mountains, like me usually goes to to the Matopo stays the fresh air there than here in town. So fresh air, then sleep. We have to get enough sleep so that you can wake up and work the next day and hustle for more money the next day. So if you are tired you will not work for your next day. Then trust in God. In everything we do we have to trust in God. You have to put God first and God is everything. Uh, five pillars of health we have the detoxification. I think uh, it's the releasing of the um, bad, <laughs> the releasing of the bad things in the body. Um, nutrition as well is eating good, fitness, exercising, nervous system. Uh, it's all about exercising as well. Then I'm e hormones. Um, what was the future? What are hormones? What are hormones? I don't know which term I should use. Um, okay, I'll, I'll just try explaining. Hormones in health. Hormones in health. Yeah, health wise. 
your thoughts. So, so actually, you know, when you go to Cuba, I don't make an explanation. So when your hormones start to change, facially there are changes. So, so hormones are like, actually testosterone is what makes me male. It's a hormone. Oyster Oyster Yeah, it's different to control the hormones in healthy living. No, but they talk about like when they say hormones, there's that dopamine that you release when you exercise. Oh, and then there's dopamine. Yes, and then there's dopamine. Yes, you know even social media, social media releases, you know YouTube releases dopamine. Oh, so that's that's how they keep us hooked. Yes, even if normal drugs they they yeah. Okay. Okay. Give us yeah. your closing yeah. remarks, Philip. So I never was lost. Okay. Um. In um. All in all, is, is that we have to smile every time, so that this person can be happy too, and to put God in everything we do. Thank you. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, yeah. That's it. I like today with that contributor was with us, so she made. Uh, the contribution. contribution and then the next story is, is recipes from in the kitchen with Noma. So we, we just have to go to the to the to, to the success talk with Noma kitchen call for a, a vegan meal. We only sell vegan meals. But I thought that was chicken. Looks like it's, it's, it's mushrooms actually. Oyster mushroom kebabs. They look like chicken, right? Eh? Oh, oh that's a stuffed butternut. <laughs> This is tough, personal. Imagine going there thinking, yeah, I'm about to have chicken, and then suddenly you are eating butter. Butter. Why would you go to a vegan restaurant and expect to eat chicken? I mean, <laughs> in the kitchen with Noma is a vegetable and vegan meal. Yeah. 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 Oh, by the way, we are, me and the Kuzi are vegetarians. Are you still a vegetarian? Yeah, no, yes, no. okay, so yeah. <laughs> so we, are, we just have that one. Is and the, I'm a motivated <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we are greatly disagree. In this world, you meet people that are different from you, so judge them not. But I'm working towards growing my own vegetables and then considering. Yeah, actually, me and Google, this one, we've been looking for the seventh day reformed church. Oh, because we're looking for customers for our vegan food. We call it Tumba. We, 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 we go to the other one, she, she couldn't find our customers there. Actually, you have to go there first and be a member so that. No, Google is a member, it's ever condemning. No, it's, it's the other one. You may oh, the other one, one the, the reformed one. Yes. Yeah, we're looking for it. After the tours, this thing, we told me, after there's another one, they might have been, I found one next to the funny church. So it used to go there and tell the elders told me, no, that's not ours, stop going there. <laughs> then he said, ah, yeah, because they say that we should eat meat, and I was wondering, because here we eat it. He said he was still a kid. <laughs> hey. Now. Yes. A letter to my son. Yeah, it's a letter to my son. I believe some of these things I was writing to myself. Mm-hmm. Yes. And some I was writing to other actually I was writing to myself, other men mm-hmm. and my future son mm-hmm. or sons and mm-hmm. and yeah, everyone else. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's it's very helpful. And we talked about um the character character. We talked about e health. We talked about education, we touched on it well, relationships, the future. So it's basically everything, it's all in one, it's like advice, everything all in one. So um, your thoughts ladies on the on the letter, because I, I, re- I received so much applauses from, from ladies. Yeah. Oh, you're ready for us? Yes. Oh, that's nice, <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. <laughs> they are like when you wrote about health. When you say you must take care of your body so that it also takes care of you. Learn from the best. Yeah, because now when I grew up, there was a book in my father's library. Yeah. Yeah, it is, take care of your body for the first 50 years, then it will take care of you for the last 50 years. So I think that is what our healthy living message is about, the success topic. You know? Yes, and, and, and on, on, I, I really enjoy the wealth part mm-hmm. because, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. The wealth and, and, and our relationship with God. Actually, because first things first, it tells you that above everything, above all else, mm-hmm. put your relationship with God first. Mm-hmm. And then family, friends, and then your career, 
usually is most people who carry a jumps everything it becomes the first thing but it really should be bought and then there's the family friends and then look at it. and then on, on wealth um there, there's this part on, on, on after ending tithe mm -hmm. pay your offering invest mm -hmm. save mm -hmm. then spend mm -hmm. yeah you spend what remains mm -hmm. not save what what remains and do because most of us what we used to do is we we, we spend then we type we offer and then actually we, we spend yeah we spend and then we type we offer and then we, we try to save and then investments out of the because so the, the acronym is type save, save invest invest type type save, save invest. invest yes okay thank you for that thank one. you very much yeah. so so you spend what is left you, you try to make ends meet on mm -hmm. what is left and then what you save and what you invest definitely will take care of you in the future. Yeah, it's it's story for a rainy day. It's like uh, the Western Proverbs that says, "Go and look at the end, you slack up." Mm. Yeah, it, it works. It works. It saves up for winter mm. because we, we don't see a lot of things in winter because they they have stored enough for a rainy day. Mm. And there's this other one that says, um, um, "Cast your bread upon many waters." Yes, so I, I think that's that's on investment. Mm -hmm. So that if you invest it, diversify it here and there, even if it rains on on, on, on this on this side, mm -hmm. this side <coughs> can always have something. And then the verse that I this verse I always tell people mm -hmm. wherever I however I whenever I get mm -hmm. the chance. Proverbs 13 verse 27. A good man gives an inheritance for his children's children, mm -hmm. but the wealth of a sinner is stored up for the righteous. But the most important part is a good man gives an inheritance. Mm -hmm. So if you don't leave anything, uh, think twice. If you are a man, yes, mm -hmm. think twice. <laughs> and then, if you're a woman. Yeah, even if you are a woman, but it's it's worse on us. It's worse on our side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, even if you are a woman, yes. yes. But um, and then on education, there is true education. True education is, is the ability to 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 cope, cope well Take with others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, live well with others because you know at school they can teach you many things, but there are things like he, communication they don't teach us that. Mm -hmm. Communication, people skills they don't usually teach us that. How to relate, how to live well with others they don't mm -hmm. teach us that. Those are those, those are skills that you 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 really need to to be taught early on, and, and there's a humility. Schools don't teach us to be humble. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I like when you write, you say, show me your friends and I'll show you your money. That's yeah. our relationship. <laughs> yeah, our relationships, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're actually, who you hang out with, it's who you become. Mm. So if, if if you want to know someone, look mm. at their friends. You definitely know who they are. <laughs> what if they don't have any friends? What if they don't have any friends? Mm. Yeah, it's, it's still good. Then what do you, you have to listen to what to do, or oh, check out who they follow. Nowadays, YouTube tells you who someone follows. Yeah, mm -hmm. Most people follow someone on YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or on social media, mm -hmm. look at who they follow. You definitely have an idea. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then on, on, on education, there is they, they seem financial literacy. Uh, we really need to be taught financial literacy at home. At home, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get home by who? You cannot teach. Your parents cannot teach what they know. Parents can't this teach. is my son, so I'm teaching. Oh, <laughs> I'm teaching my son. Yes, so I'm, I'm actually teaching from a, a, an early age. The true education is selflessness. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm, 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 I'm at school. They at school they taught us to be selfish, because usually early on, where they should be teaching us to be selfless, they teach us to be selfish. How? How? Um, okay, have you ever been in the top 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 ten or top what of your class mm. where the competition is stiff and, mm. and everyone is selfish? Yeah, mm. that group is very selfish. <laughs> no, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah, even, even with the information. Mm. If, I, if, if I discuss with you, I'm going to tell you, you're going to pass and I'm going to fail. I can't. I keep it to myself. I can't help the other person who's struggling. Who solve problems? Because, because there's only number one, number one, there's one number price one. for number there's one. Only one price for number. That's that's selfishness taught at an early age. Mm. Instead of what's from this selflessness at that age, and then maybe we can we can then, yeah. Okay, yeah. I I think for more, <coughs> I think we need to refer to it. 
Yeah, and yeah, and then there's a character. Yeah. Character is everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about character. Okay. See, actually, actually, he, he, he character, he character is it's more like your currency. Mm. Is is your person. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's value. Yeah. Mm. Why just you're standing there to the people who know you, to the mm. people who don't know you. Yeah. Character yako is is what you are worth. Mm. Even character on its own opens doors. Mm. There are people who have about about the doors are open wide and they became successful because someone liked their character. Yeah, yeah. Talk yeah. about character. I mean, I, 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 I won't mention the name, but I'm this lady that I used to admire, you know who. Yeah. But I know that's not character. It all just flew off the window. I kind of. <laughs> so sometimes character is very important. It's more important than money. Yeah. There's a very special character in Proverbs. So it's uh, yeah. a good name. Is better than. Oh, well. a good cho- choice silver. Yes. Mm, yes. 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 Yeah. So so y- y- character is, is you should guard it with your life. Mm. Actually, character goes in hand in hand with the reputation. Okay. That's that's few yeah. quotes. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> okay, honestly. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> actually, there are three, but there are two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Start raising your children right. Mm. Uh, don't make it an objective for of of the schools, teachers, governments, and gadgets mm. to raise your children. Mm. Yeah, at that's home the they, yeah, because some people nowadays don't raise their children. Mm. It's, it's the phone's job or the teacher's and well, go and see. You know this one saying he goes to Panagana and see you. He tell you what it is. I said, ah, what are you doing during the holiday? I said, you're trying to go to TikTok. You're going to go to TikTok. You're going to go to TikTok. You're going to go to TikTok. It's a TikTok lover, you never say when it's a very short. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so my parents nowadays were pushing that even so during COVID, like remember they were crying. Mm. When, when the school is open, so these people go to school and, and we are free. And, yeah. yeah, they are no longer raising our door. They are pushing from our schools. And, yeah, and then, yeah, and then the future really depends fully on how we raise our children today mm. because they, they are the next generation. Mm-hmm. They are the future adults, mm-hmm. and everything, and I mean everything, literally everything, mm-hmm. is is on their shoulders tomorrow. Amen. Yes, and then if you cannot raise them, yeah, don't father them. I'm talking to you. Yeah, we 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 have children, but we don't raise them. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Basically, that's. That's it. Yeah. No, there is a lot more. Yeah, there is. It's the Nama Awards. <laughs> the Nama Awards were held on in Harare on 25 February. There is Madam Boss present, who is pregnant, she can give us the comments there, or Madam Boss showing up, second <laughs> pregnant fashion there. I know I'll pass. Yeah, send me. Send me? Yeah, Great. Yeah, that was the number one. That was the red carpet. I mean, I'll read out my paper, but it's like our entertainment industry has been for up. Yeah, okay. Oh, and then Lona was saying, oh, I love that story. Someone take that one. Woman take crush. us through that one. Oh, Successful ladies, woman crush. Women's man. Lona Masebo. Okay, so um, the, Lona Masebo is a South African uh, TV presenter. Um, celebrity, tent celebrity chef, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has her own cooking shows um, on DSTV and SABC. Yeah, SABC actually. And yeah, you can you can follow her uh, on her accounts. Um, from what I see here, she, she's very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Very pretty. This article is about Ulona Masego launching her new cookware range, oh, and which oh. was she launched it on HSN Home Shop Shopping Metric of America. Oh, so that oh. is a huge. That's why she's yeah. bringing a million guys. That is huge. Million that's why she's here. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's just she, a girl. She was born in Alexandria, by the way. Oh. Fish. Alex. <laughs> where you're born. The other side of Santi. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. will say she was born in Makoko, and then yeah. in Makoko in South Africa. Alex and Tempe says. Yeah. Yeah, so she's got a cooking show on the FTV and Loyale, USA, BC. So now she's really a celebrity chef. She's also making money to social media as well. Wow. She travels the world because of her talent. And I can of see cooking, it. Her passion of cooking. Bill yeah, you see her with Bill Clinton, right? Yes. See, 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 it's very very diligent in his business. He shall stand before kings and not in front of mean men. Maybe very soon she'll be Mrs. Kitten. Eh? No, she's so she's divorced. <laughs> and there's a miss there's, there's a Hillary Clinton. <laughs> 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 what if she's going to a spectra with this actress in South Africa trash is killing the Oh I think I've been oh I know who was it, sorry. <laughs> but that's not a Masego. Yeah. This is the what else can you do? 
diagram that we teach in the success talk we do a master class when I, his skill yes. lapana is what is catering right yes mm -hmm. so what else can you do in catering you can teach you can you, train yeah you can teach you can cook for functions you can have a podcast you can have a recipe, a recipe book, a recipe book. so who don't have a recipe book which one mm -hmm. in our oh. gourmet recipe book which one in our she's you know? good yeah she's good. then she's good. you can also read open your recipe book what she's got oh. she seems to be in a recipe that diagram they go to another master class cooking read. show on tv yeah, cooking yeah. show on tv yeah she's got two homegrown tastes it's actually on the bbc food network She's been given a second season. The second season, I can't say that is. But that's one of my issues in Yana. Read some below. Selling cooking equipment. Selling cooking equipment, Yana Leo, which has been launched on HSN. In an mm -hmm. American home shopping network. So it should be like, where are the things? It was a whole live audience of millions of Americans. Wow. So she's, yeah, she's hit the big time. Okay, next thing. Uh, selling cooking ingredients. So in cooking ingredients, well, okay, she, she has not done that yet, but that's what she can also do in, in, in with your skill of catering, right? Yes, a food, a food vlog. A food vlog. Well, she's got a food vlog on Instagram, because on Instagram, she just posts herself cooking food. Of course, she doesn't cook healthy food. You know? So I probably wouldn't eat in Donut Kitchen. She's a decadent chef. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was in Yara. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. She's actually, I the story maybe before you get yourself short, let's show you the man she had a baby with in 2021. He's a very high political figure. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. No, no. Yeah. 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 She, she was married to Trina Lu Kelly, a sales executive from 2010 to 2016. She is currently in a relationship with the EFF politician. Floyd Shibambo. Yeah, and in 2021 she gave birth to their baby. So oh. I don't think you can really steal a girl from, from Floyd, Floyd Shibambo and stay alive. And, and unless I do it as the other one, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's not a mistake. I think I'm not cheating. Yeah, listen, yeah, she's, she's super inspirational. Yeah, super yeah, inspirational. Yeah. I mean, I first saw her on Top Billing. I used to watch Top Billing. Yes. Yeah, then I saw her. And I started following her mm -hmm. after today because she keeps rising and rising and she's where well, I'm inspired. I, I, I am inspired by Lona. I am too. So one day I will actually interview her live. Dream big. Dream big. You will get there. I've said it. Uh, somewhere in Sydney. Yes, in the richest school in Africa. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because now I do, okay, I don't know if we get it. Well, we, 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 we are planning to have in the kitchen with Lona and we will cook with a celebrity. Oh yeah, in the future. In the future. Yeah, in the future. The future. Let's see how it goes. Yes. Yeah, then at Lavinia Garden there, I attended that event. And there I am with the... I'm not Yeah, there I am with Tempe Oh. Who do I go to get a cup and no one? But you can't know if I got the gift, the photo. Which one? This one. That is the minister of social media. It's a small enterprise yeah. business. And business. Yeah. 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 Um, but but, but like, yeah. you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm moved by the fact that um, the reason why he did this is because his parents used to love Michael Jackson. Mm. Like they passed away, right? Mm. And um, in their own life, he became Michael Jackson. Mm. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, he's really doing it. He's only 15. No, he's not. He's actually married with a child. He's oh. 15. He looks 15. He looks 15. No, he's married with a child. At the interview, he lied to me. <laughs> I said uh, he was 16, but he's not. But he really doesn't old. matter, but you know, it's like, yeah, it's probably, maybe it's your age. Oh. Yeah, it's probably mid 20s. Happy Women's Month. Thank you all our oh, yeah. valid readers. What did you do, Mama? What did you do? Boko. 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 Boko.